Okay, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get data from a database in SPSS Modeler. So uh, once you have opened the, the SPSS Modeler, if you go to the palette uh, sources and you select this uh, database node and you drag and drop to the screen, um, you have the, this node that uh, if you make double click to configure it, um, so basically, you can configure here uh, where is the data source and if you're going to query a specific table or you are going to make a SQL query. So in data source, you have to click here and select add a database connection or add a new database connection. And if you click here, the thing is that uh, it opens this new, this new window where you can see all the data sources that are available in this uh, in this specific case and context that basically are Excel files, um, DBase files, as well as uh, Microsoft Access databases. But, for example, if you want to access to a SQL uh, database such as uh, MySQL or Oracle or Postgres or any other database, it is not possible. Even if you go to the controller part, you only have the SQL server uh, but you don't have any other database. So in order, for example, to access to MySQL, what you have to do is uh, to install the ODBC driver uh, that is available in um, MySQL page. So uh, you go to the download page of MySQL and you have to download the connector ODBC and uh, download the version of your operating system. In this case, what I'm going to install is the Windows version of 60, uh, 64 bits. So uh, you just need to open it and um, okay, it will install the, the, the ODBC. So you accept all the, all the things. And well, in this case, we are going to make a typical installation. So we just need to wait uh, to install the, the connector and uh, once it is installed uh, it is possible to make uh, to configure it to to make queries against the mysql database so once uh, the installer finished uh, if we go to the spss modeler and we go to this uh, database node and go to the i uh, add a new database connection and, and we um, go to the controller and we refresh, we see that we have these new uh, ODBC drivers, but uh, we cannot connect yet because what we have to do is to configure a new connection. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is to show you um, in in the MySQL workbench, I, I have here open the workbench that uh, where you can see that I have several databases. And well, the first thing that I'm going to, to do is I'm going to create a new user that is the specific user that I'm going to use to access to the database uh, using the um, SPSS modeler. So I go to server and to us, uh, users and privileges and I'm going to create a new account that in this case is going to be named SPSS. Okay, I'm going to put as password the same SPSS and SPSS. And uh, what I'm going to do is to give access to this user to um, only access to a specific schema that in this case is the clinica schema. Okay, so I select the clinica, I select all, I'm going to give all the privileges uh, and select apply. So basically now what I have done is to create a new, S, a new uh, user in the database that is called SPSS that will have access to this Clinica database and it will be able to access to any of the, of the tables here. Um, so the next thing that I have to do is to open the ODBC manager. So in Windows, I can go to the search bar and type ODBC and uh, I select this uh, configurar or this configure uh, data sources ODBC in this case the 64 bits because it's the version that I'm using and here as you can see the databases or the sorry the uh, sources that I have is the same that I had here in the SPSS so now I'm going to add a new one in this button. I'm going to add 
and uh, well I will select the driver that I'm going to use in this case I'm going to connect to my, uh, my SQL server uh, I'm going to use uh, in this case the Unicode driver and I have to put the information about the connection so uh, data source name is uh, I don't know my local host description is SPSS access the server in this case is localhost I put the IP address of localhost the user is SPSS and the password is SPSS and database are the database that are available in this case it automatically check what uh, what database are available to this user so I select this clinica I just click on test to see that everything is okay connection successful so I press the OK button and I accept. Now if I go again to my database and I I select here add a new database connection if I click on refresh button I see that I have this my local host that is the new connection that I have created okay so what I can do is select this one okay put again the name of the user and the password okay and after pressing the connect button I saw that I have available here this connection I press accept and well here what I can do is okay I can give uh, sorry retrieve all the information of a given uh, table so here if I click on select I have all the tables that are available in my in my schema in my database so imagine that I want to retrieve all the information uh, from clinica doctor okay that is one of the tables so I apply okay now I put a table to visualize the data and I connect both nodes and if I execute the table I see all the information that is in the table doctor I can check that this is the information in the workbench in the MySQL if I retrieve all the information from doctor table I saw that is the same the same values but I can get information given a specific um, a query so for example I want to retrieve imagine that I want to retrieve all the patients uh, that has associated uh, the doctor uh, doctor house that in this case has the ID one so this can be done with a specific uh, SQL query that is the following the following one I'm going to get the ID and name from paciente where ID doctor equals to one so if I execute this query I get these three patients if I do that on the SPSS modeler basically what I have to do is I go to the database and here instead of a table I put a SQL query so I just paste the the query that I have to I want to execute I, uh, press apply and accept and if I go to the table uh, of visualization I execute it I get this information that is the one given by the specific SQL query so uh, this video is um, is trying to show you how to perform this connection against the database uh, using in this case a MySQL uh, server database but can be applied to any other um, database with the specific driver that is needed so I hope you enjoy it